face? No, I got none. Six gold. Six gold. Six gold. Uh, there was two out of four. <laughs> what else? One pigeon. One pigeon? I saw three blue jays. I think it was just one out there. Uh, uh, an American <laughs> crow. American crow. Yeah, one hawk. That's not it. That's it. Was that on? Was that on your? Was that on your phone, or where'd you see that? Over there when I pulled over there. Any others? Oh, we saw. Is that everything? Crow. Crow, got it? All right, well, let's start entering it. If we think, entering our data, if we think of anything else, we can add it in. So, this is eBird. And I'm going to sign in with my account, and uh, I'll talk to Paul about how you can make a class account. So, I already have Rocking the Boat in one of my, in one of my locations. So, I just choose Rocking the Boat. Can you guys see okay? Or should I turn the lights up again? Oh, yeah. We can't see that. Okay, what's the date today? You can. Oh, three, 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 one, three. And what kind of count protocol or observation type do we do? Okay, what time do we start? 1.04. 1.24. 1.24. Oops. So we did 15 minutes approximately. Uh, I think we went about a quarter of a mile. And there was 12 of us, right? Yes. Okay. You almost finished? So. Yeah. Five minutes. Okay, so guys, we're going to enter what we saw now. And what you can do on the right hand side here is just put in the name of the species, start typing in the name of the species, and it'll come up. So, for example, Blue Jay, I start typing that in. See how the, all these options come up? Yeah. yeah. Right? So other birds that have blue in them are great blue heron, eastern bluebird. So we'll click on blue jay and it'll take us right to that spot on the list. So we just saw the one, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? You gotta read the notes because my back is turned to the board. American <coughs> crow. American crow. <laughs> I think that's one. your favorite. One. What else? Fish crow. No. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry, there, but what else did we see? Three swallow. On the bird list, to the left right here. Yeah. What did we see? Two mockingbirds. Two, two mockingbirds, mocking yeah. We're just repeating these yeah, back. Two. Okay, we saw two. Oh, yeah, hey, Next bird. Oh, they went. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop. Okay. How many did we see? Uh, two. Two? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The blue jay I saw wasn't that blue. So what would that suggest? He's ugly. It was a male. I mean, it was a female. You guys are so rude. That's good. And and what is that? What's the word that goes with male, female? Change of... Domestic. I mean, that's what that's Die. Die sexual and something. Morph means... Sexual and morphism. Morph means change and die means two. Or, or multiple. You guys, we're almost done here. Pigeon, thank you. No, it's D-I. So, you can it could be because it's it's more than one because there's more than two uh, new variations, they do more studies on, on their genes and whatnot. So these are now being technically called rock doves. Rock doves? So one. Next. Yeah, the pigeons, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, Gold. 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 Six gold. We saw the, the three gold. I don't know how many six? And then there's one more. I think. Oh, wait, the Can Canada geese, yeah. So Canada goose, how many Canada goose did we see? Two. 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 Okay, so now that we've entered all the birds, it asks you, are you submitting a complete checklist of the birds you could identify? Yes? All right, so now we have submitted our checklist. And if you guys set up a class account, I will be able to share this with you. Um, and you just have to send me your 
um, logging and stuff. So I'll to look into uh, it. Show you how it really quickly after. So it is exactly one thirty. So we did we did well today. So guys. quickly, why do this? So I remember I asked earlier, why should we do citizen science? Why are we why are we entering this data? What is the purpose of this? Yes, sir. Exactly. So, just remember, scientists can't be everywhere at the same time, right? So if citizens volunteer to submit data like we just did, they can have much more knowledge than they would otherwise, right? And that's good for not only scientific studies of birds, there's actually been a lot of um, published papers in really renowned um, scientific journals that have relied entirely on citizen science data. So when we put this into that website, uh, scientists can see our data. Yeah. And actually, that brings up the point that you can go in and look at it as well. Uh -huh. So we're going to talk more about this the next time I'm here, which won't be until May. But you can actually go in and explore data. You'll see at the top there's an explore data. So you can look at maps. Um, did I show you guys the map or the earlier group the map? So this is the kind of map that uh, eBird data generates. So watch the colors. Starting, it's starting in January. This is representing January to December. See how it lights up? So that's representing yeah. eBird sightings, like sightings that people have submitted to eBird and they've compiled. So why do you think these, this bird is obviously not present in uh, from January to April and then from October to December? Mm -hmm. What do you think is happening with that bird? Oh, oh, oh. Migration. Yeah. Exactly. So this is this map represents the wood thrush, and the wood thrush is the kind of bird that migrates south. So it lives in sort of eastern North America, and then it migrates down to Costa Rica and other parts of Central America. So this is in January, and it comes back in April. So this is why you see the sun bursts 